Yep, you guys got that right. Within five hours, we went from a reversion update where we went back and we backtracked because we had a bunch of issues with our V3 update to five hours later, I have now released an even larger update that I think is better than the previous update to help you guys on the indicators. So let's first get into what this update has. Number one, I've added a little bit more detail just to make sure everybody's on the right track because you can get confused with all these updates and this is gonna be a continual thing that's gonna happen because I'm adding features and different things that you guys are really coming to me saying, hey, this would be useful. So here's what we did in this update. Number one, first and foremost, make sure you delete everything off of your chart, including other indicators and the old version of this one, then reapply it. So the first things that you guys are gonna wanna do is make sure your chart is blank. Notice I've got nothing on the chart other than price. So make sure you do that before you add it. Now, we'll add it really quick. Again, you go to indicators, invite only scripts and add it. If it's not there, it's because you don't have access and you have to go down in the description, fill out that form and get access. So I'm just gonna add it really quick. Now, before we talk about it, uh, I just wanna just read out the updates. Update number one, stop loss buffer, default value of zero. You no longer have to change stop loss buffer from one to zero to make it work. That's tedious, it's not a huge change, but it's definitely useful. Update number two, the EMAs are now the exact color you want them. They default to yellow, red, aqua, white, and blue every single time. So you guys don't have to worry about changing the EMA color. Update number three, show session high, low lines. We now have a toggle so you can see the Asian range session high and low, just what you wanted from the last update. It is now available in this update. And update number four, we actually changed the color of those lines. The blue is on um, the the blue is on the bottom looking to buy, and then the top is on the red showing to sell. Side note, there's something that will say show last end sessions. It's not currently being used. You can leave it at five. Don't worry about it. So here's what it looks like. Look at this. I think it looks so much cleaner. Last one you guys saw was kind of like following. It looked kind of honestly bad, cheap, free, <laughs> pun intended. Yes, it's free still guys. Of course this thing is free, but um, now what you guys can see is it labels the high of the Asian range and the low. Every single pair, it'll label it so that you guys, look at that. You can see how the market reacted off of the previous high. So now you guys can toggle that. Now, how do you toggle it? Well, in here, first of all, that's now set to zero. As I mentioned, all your colors are set, but if you scroll down, it just says show session high, low lines. Just click it. Notice it's gone. Come back, click it. Notice it's back. So you guys are gonna have that and you can utilize that because of the trainings that I've had inside of the playlist to teach you why we utilize this. So this is a, a great addition. Again, as a side note, you do not need to worry about this. I'm working on a future update already in this update. It's just not done yet. So you guys don't have the feature yet. So that's why it just sits there, but don't worry about it. Uh, you could change this number. It, it doesn't, literally doesn't do anything. So just leave it at five. And then, um, yeah, so this is the new toggle. That's what it looks like. You can see it working. It's functioning great. Also what's functioning is the exit. So you're, you're seeing it actually exit. Remember that was the issue is that we added the lines and then it kind of forgot how to do its thing. So you're seeing that as well as if you find a break even trade, which was the major concern. Let me find a break even trade. Um, there's a winner, some losers. Let me find, here's a break even. See this? Market moved to break even, it exited correctly. So now back testing is no longer hindered by the new update. So again, guys, I'm working my tail off to provide you guys. God only knows why I'm doing this, honestly. It probably sounds asinine, the fact that I'm working on this like for five hours today to make sure you guys have this. I, I, God only knows, it's making me feel really fulfilled. Um, just as a side note, it, this is making me happy. It, it's a weird thing. I think giving back makes people feel good and this makes me feel good. The fact that we have 800 people being positively impacted by an indicator that's helping them find better spots in the market 
and with their knowledge, they can make it even better. It's simply making me feel happy. That's the only reason I'm doing this. I think a lot of people think that there's some hidden agenda behind this. It's truly, it's making me feel happy and I'm growing a YouTube channel while we're doing it. So guys, keep testing it, keep changing settings, keep letting me know what's working, what's not. Keep telling me what features would be badass to have and uh, I do appreciate it. So as always guys, if you can get this video to 200 likes to thank me for what I'm doing, I would appreciate it. Share this with some of your friends, let them know I'm doing this. Send them the access to the form, send them the playlist link. Do everything that you can do to just get the word out. And thank you guys so much for supporting me in this process. So we'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you.